Hiya, peeps. Good to see you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Hope you're doing well. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to talk about what I think is the best album of the year. And like most years that Nick Cave releases an album, it's the best album of the year. I felt that way about Ghost Teen. I felt that way about Skeleton Tree. I felt that way about Push the Sky Away. Nick Cave is, I was going to say he's one of those perennial guys who just always comes through, but he's not just one of those guys. He's not one of those generic human beings. He is a complete enigma. He is a island upon himself. He's not only out on a remote island all by himself. He is his own island unto himself. Nobody can touch Nick Cave's history, his experience, his immense songwriting talents, his sense of humor, his ability to excavate the most painful parts of our psyche and his psyche specifically. Wild God is the album that I personally had hoped that he would deliver in light, or I should say in dark, of all of the recent turmoil and tragedy he's gone through. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. I would guess that anybody who stumbles upon this video is a Nick Cave fan. And you know what this poor guy has been through <laughs> over the past decade or so. This guy has seen some intense tragedy. Tragedy that I can't even imagine. I don't even have kids. But I've been a teacher and I have nieces and nephews and I just can't even imagine the type of pain and anguish and misery Nick and his wife and his family have gone through over recent years. And very selfishly, knowing that about him, I had very much hoped that I, I, it wasn't even a hope. I was just looking forward, knowing that Nick Cave would deliver something of obscenely high quality. I was very much anticipating how he was going to filter and decipher all of that tragedy through his next album. And man, he has done it perfectly with Wild God. I was going to do this review a couple weeks ago because this album's been out for a couple weeks. But the thing about Nick Cave albums is they're just so deep. There's so much to dig through. There's so much excavating emotionally going on. Not just with Nick Cave and his music, but he has the ability to write songs and deliver and sing songs that make you kind of evaluate your own life. That's the power of Nick Cave, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... That's what I've been doing with Wild God. I've listened to it a number of times over the past couple of weeks and just let it flow over me. And you know, the first time you hear a Nick Cave album, you, a couple of songs will be the standouts, and then you'll listen to it a week later, and then a few more songs will start percolating in your psychology. And I tend to get stuck on favorite songs when I'm listening to an album I really love. There'll be two or three that I just I, I listen to over and over. And then when I want to move on, I listen to a few more. And then I get stuck on those. And that's what Wild God has done for me. So after the last couple of weeks of having this happen, I've listened to the entire album several times, at least 10 times, more than that. And I guess it doesn't really matter what my favorite songs are. Uh, I do have a few, and I'll talk about them briefly. But... For me, Nick Cave is the ultimate songwriter, and he is the ultimate male songwriter. He is a true man's man when it comes to music. And I don't care if you don't agree with me, you think that's insensitive, you think it's politically incorrect. I don't care how you want to decipher that. As a man, I listen to Nick Cave, and he talks to me like a man. This is a man who has lived life. This is a man who has had tragic shit happen to him. And he's been able to still maintain this sense of humor and what it means to be a man in our current global society. 
because our current global society is infected and it's sick and it's fucked up irreparably, I think. Absolutely irreparably fucked up. Nick Cave is able to kind of sift through all that bullshit and give us something real. And God damn, that's important, man. It's so rare these days to have someone who's been around long enough, who has the experience, not just the life experience, but the songwriting experience to look at the world the way it should be looked at in terms of just having conscientiousness about it, reality, just having a practical look at the earth and what we're going through right now, remembering our history, remembering our mistakes, filtering those mistakes through our current world lens and how disgusting and fucked up the current societal norms are in our global culture and the pain he's had to go through and all these different disparate elements that have to get filtered through your own psychology. This is why Nick Cave should be celebrated right now. He is a rare human being to be able to take all of this crazy disparate information and focus it through one lens. That just makes sense. Something, one thing, any fucking thing that makes sense. And Nick Cave just does it. He does it effortlessly. Now, obviously, he puts a lot of effort into it. But as a listener, as someone who goes out and buys these records, as I, as I have with, with Nick Cave and Wild God, to me, it's effortless. It's like I'm, I, every time I listen to Wild God, I'm like, here, this is how I feel. This is what it is. All of the pain that I've been through, and it isn't even a smidge of the pain that Nick Cave has gone through in his life, but all of the pain and the joy and all of the emotions that I go go through and have gone through in my life, I listen to albums like Wild God, and I'm like, yes, Nick Cave gets it, he's translating it, and he's a total pro and a beautiful poet about it. And that's rare. You, you think it's common. Maybe some of you think that's common with a lot of current pop music. No, no, it's not common. I defy anybody to go out and find another singer-songwriter of any age group and have them hold a candle to Nick Cave's talent. Good luck. It doesn't exist, male or female. Maybe P.J. Harvey. Maybe P.J. Harvey maybe Tom Waits. There are a couple of songwriters out there that come close, but to me and my tastes, Nick Cave is our premier songwriter on this planet, and thank fuck for him. This is a gorgeous album. Love it. It is just beautiful in every way, and I'm going to go through the track listing here. I hope I can, uh, I hope I imparted how I'm feeling about this record. I really feel strongly about it. Now, and again, any Nick Cave album, really, especially over the last 20 years, I mean, this guy, he just gets better. To me, it's a frightening proposition that Nick Cave only gets better. I mean, you listen to Dig Lazarus Dig, which at that time I thought was his greatest work, and then he put out Push the Sky Away, and it was like, holy shit, this is even better. And then he put out uh, Skeletons. I mean, it's just like, how can someone get better? Well, Nick Cave does it. And what I really love about Wild God, before I get into the track listing, actually, what I really love about Wild God is I had hoped that he would do something. And again, this is pure selfishness, but I would I had hoped that he would do something that was a little bit more upbeat because the previous two albums were so deep, man. They were so heavy, absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. But I thought... Wouldn't it be cool for Nick Cave to take like the ultimate tragedies that he's had in his life? And I think at this point in his life, he's had more tragedy. Obviously, the older you get, the more tragedies you have, the more time. But also, you have the more time to percolate and translate those tragedies. Wouldn't it be nice for him to put out an album that was a little more upbeat? Not that I would expect it, but I was hoping that it would be that. And he delivered. Very selfishly, again, he delivered. This is a pretty upbeat album musically. Now, is it heartbreaking? Absolutely. But he was able to transfer and translate all of his pain he's felt in recent years and made a pretty uplifting album, man. And to me, that is 
the sign of a real fucking man looking back in his life and knowing that this is what life is. You don't get to live without having pain. You don't live without dying. You don't get to have a life without watching people close to you die off. This is what life is. You translate it. You, you, you surround yourself with people you love and you get through it. And you, you find a way to smile. Otherwise, you die off in pain. And Nick Cave is choosing the former there. He's choosing to try, at least, to smile through this. Uh, it might be any modicum of, of happiness or joy he can get from all of his tragedy he's had to deal with is worth fighting for. And to me, that's what this album is about. Wild God, as I listen to the album, I think the title at least the way I translate it. it doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong. This is just how I listen to it as a listener and as a fan. Wild God, I don't know. It just, it, it refers to chaos. As, as someone who's, as someone who is as dirty and filthy a, an atheist as you can get, as I am, I see life as just utter chaos. But there is a simplicity and, um, you know, there is a calm to that. It's it, for me, it is a calming effect to understand that if you understand the world is, is chaotic and there is no through line to it, then there is peace and, and joy to be found within that. It's just an understanding of the world that we're in. And that's how I take Wild God. Nick Cave is looking at this world like a very chaotic thing, but there can be joy derived from that if you're able to look into yourself and think about it in a deeper way. Now, the track listing, man, I, you guys, I think most people who have stumbled upon this video, you, you've, you've seen and listened to these tracks. For me, the fourth track, Joy, is the song that I keep going back to, man. That is the song, like everything I've been talking about, that's the song where Cave is just like breaking down the way he's been feeling lately. And, and my God, it's just a beautiful song. Frogs. Very upbeat song, a pop song, if you want to call it that. Very melodic. As the waters cover the sea. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How wonderful she is. Obviously, you'd think that's a track about his wife. And obviously, I think it is if you listen to it. The last song, though, As the Waters Cover the Sea. I mean, I'm not going to get in. You get, go listen to the album. If somehow you're watching this video and, and you haven't listened to the record, I think I just described how I feel about it without doing a track by track assessment, without throwing out stupid, lazy genre tag bullshit in your face. Nick Cave, he surpasses and exceeds that. Any kind, and when I say that, I mean any kind of descriptors or lazy genre tags that you want to apply to his music. None of that shit matters with Nick Cave and his music. His music is well beyond anything that you can tag it with. It's, you can't define it. All you can do is sit down and listen to it and then talk about it like I'm doing right now. And Wild God, for me personally, is the best album of the year. I mean, it, and I feel that way about every fucking Nick Cave album. He just is a talent that this world has never seen, and there's nobody like him on this planet Earth right now who, again, is, is understanding how this world is misinterpreting so many important things in terms of our society and he's working that through his own tragedy and god man i'm so sorry that nick cave has gone through what he's gone through but i'm not sorry that this is the kind of shit that that pain produces <laughs> i hope that makes sense and i hope that doesn't sound insensitive because that's how i feel about wild god this is the by the way this is the version i have I bought mine off of Amazon because I'm a lazy whore and I wanted it quickly and cheaply. So this was the version I found on Amazon. It's on clear wax, as you can see. You get a photo of the man, a man's man right there, Nick Cave. You get your lyrics. You get your album. This is what it is, man. New album from Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Wild God. It does not get any better than this. This is a gorgeous album. To try to compare it to, try to, compare it to any other Nick Cave album, I think, is just a silliness. Is it his best album? Yeah, probably, maybe. Some people out there already think that. 
I think only time will tell. I'm a huge Nick Cave fan, so my favorite Nick Cave albums tend to wane and wax and shift and modulate over the years. Sometimes they just change, you know. But right now, Wild God has almost been on repetitive repeat on my playlists. It's just a beautiful album. I didn't expect any less. At this point, Nick Cave, he doesn't put out an album. He understands what it, what it means to put out a brilliant album, and he won't put out an album until it's brilliant. He's got that kind of talent. And, uh, man, there's not, there's not a single filler track on here. Gorgeous stuff. How good is this album? How much do we love Nick Cave? Let's celebrate his existence. Thank you for watching.